come to Sweden without sampling some of the local delicacies. So we've brought our fighters here to PS to cook and sample some of the local food. Let's see if they're champions in the kitchen as well as the octagon. And today we're going to make uh, herring. So marinated herring, second course. At the head course we have uh, meatballs, of course. Swedish meatballs. What am I doing? Nick, what's going down over here? Actually, it's a challenge between Luke and me because he said he could do the better meatballs, but of course he can't. Mm -hmm. He's already on his ball rolling phase. I'm on my ball rolling phase. Awesome. You can what's been going into yours? What special ingredients? There, there's no, there's just love again. Love, love. Kind of love. made with love. love. I found for your meatballs something to cook, you know. Uh, <laughs> you wanted to have another container for the oven, you know. German efficiency this, right this, here. This <laughs> loop, German the sugar goes with the herring and the salt and pepper goes in here. I don't know if we're supposed Swedish to use that or what. What's it? I don't think we're sugar. supposed to put it in cake. So salt and pepper. <laughs> I've always known I'd like to eat. I just didn't know I'd like to cook. That's it. Maybe I should start my own cooking program, eh? So this would be my specialty, Swedish meatballs. My mum is a fantastic cook. I've always said it. She says I always used to watch her, like, peek over the counter and watch her cook until I was about 14 years old. So maybe I've, a hidden talent that I've found out about myself. Okay, so the food is almost cooked. Uriah is serving up in the background there with Jojo, and we're about to taste what we've just cooked. So what we have on your plate here are two different herrings. One, ours, the better one, is <laughs> is the more green. Has some uh, what is it, parsley, basil, and dill. Yeah, this is honey, dill, and Uriah's secret. secret. Recipe. Lemon. Oh wow. So we'll see what it tastes like and see who's better, Travis. We've got to judge now which is the best one. Yeah. I love when the sweetness from the honey and. Um... Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> now comes the champion's choice. Yeah. Oh, you see how crispy they, they are, you know? They, it's awesome, you know? You can already see it that they... You want to, like, bite in and break them open, you know? And they, they look... Okay. These look burnt to me. Uh, no, no, crispy. Crispy. The word is crispy. Is that what you were going for? Okay. Well, before we um, go into the judging process, I need you to consider that I know that Luke didn't wash his hands before we did that. <laughs> Actually, like, the, the ingredients are the same, but we added some love. No. So, um, just enjoy. I'd like to add just quickly before we start, the presentation here looks like a six-year-old child <laughs> has accidentally put strawberry on ice cream. Looks terrible, so dig in guys, enjoy. They're both beautiful though. So there you have it, that was lots of fun, the food tasted pretty good, and it's proof that our fighters are just as competitive in the kitchen as they are in the octagon. For more videos, check out UFC.com and Fight Pass.